Hi, everybody. How are you? Again, we're back. We're back into the textbook. And this is Unit 10 from your Success First Hand English First Hand Success textbook. And we're going to cover approximately uh, three pages. Okay, um, we, we do have to get through the book. So while we're getting ready to do the presentations, we're going to cover some of Unit 10. So, the title of this textbook is What Do You Like to Do? So think about that for a minute. What do you like to do? It could be a number of things. It could be what? Mm, at home. Mm, I like to, to eat eggs for breakfast. How's that for an idea? Or what? Um, let's say you don't like to get up early, so I like to sleep in. Hmm. Um, I like to take a nap. I like to ride my bike. I like to meet my friends, etc., etc. Okay. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to magnify these pictures and these expressions, likes and dislikes, for you. Okay, come on, where's the zoom to? There it is. All right, here we go. Let's try it again. Okay, so there are a few right there. Have a look at these. You should have your book out, uh, Unit 10. Love studying, love to study, hope to get married. Uh, so in this case, um, you don't always say, I like to, I like to, I like to. You can say, I love studying, I want to travel, I hope to get married. Um, um, I like to start work. Um, I like to try to swim. I want to travel. Okay. What else? Uh, doing laundry. I hate doing the laundry. I miss seeing my friends. Okay. I look forward to graduating. Uh, here, interested in living abroad. Hmm. Would you say I interested in living abroad? I. How about I am interested in living abroad? So they start differently. You know, sometimes it's I am something or it's I finish cleaning. So um, you have these different verbs, finish, hate, miss, look forward to, okay? So just listen to the examples. And I'll play it. Unit 10. What do you like to do? Vocabulary building. Likes and dislikes. Like to play tennis. Like playing tennis. I like playing tennis, okay? Love to study. I love to study. Love studying. Love studying. Okay, look. Why don't you just add the I? Okay, or you could even add or make the sentence like this. He or she. So in that case, of course, it would be in the case of dislike washing the dishes. Uh, look at her. She dislikes. She dislikes. He loves to study. I love to study. Okay, so practice with the pronoun. And then you conjugate the verb. So I love to study. You love to study. He, this guy here, loves to study. So see how you add the S. You've already learned that. You just need to practice it. Let's keep listening here, guys and girls. Uh, Unit 10. Wait, wait, what wait, do wait, you wait, like wait. to do? Love to study. Here we go. 
love studying. Dislike washing the dishes. Try to swim. Start to work. Start to work. I start to work. Hope to get married. Want to travel. Learn to read. Enjoy working out. <coughs> Finish cleaning the house. Hate doing the laundry. Miss seeing my friends. Interested in living abroad. Look forward to graduating. Okay, I'm going to pause for just a minute and get us to the next point. Now, <clears throat> if you look at page 85, you're going to see uh, or listen to a type of game show. And the game show involves trying to figure out if they match their choices. This looks like a couple here, and I think they're a couple. They're a couple, and the, the talk show host asks them questions and to see whether they agree or disagree. So if they agree, then you would check match. And I know it's small here, but I don't want to be bouncing back and forth between the magnifier and the cursor. So just that little check there, that's match. The, the top row is match. The bottom is no match. Okay. So let me um, magnify first. Wait. All right. Let's magnify this part right here. See if it fits. Great. Let's hold it right there. Now I'm going to go back. No, I can't do it that way. Uh, so just have a look here too at the bottom. We see we see number two. Uh, number one, Kate likes cooking, cleaning. Andrew dislikes cooking, washing dishes. Which one is it? Is it a match or not a match between them? Kate doesn't enjoy doing the laundry, working out. Andrew enjoys traveling, reading. All right, let me go back to the cursor because I have to turn on the audio. Here we go. It's a match. Number one. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to everyone's favorite game show, It's a Match. I'm your host, Nick Simpleton, and tonight's guests are Andrew and Kate. Andrew and Kate, you're friends, right? Yes. yes. Well, let's see how well you know each other. Andrew and Kate, you've both written some answers to our questions. Let's see how often you can say it's a match. First, Andrew, we asked Kate the question, what is something you like to do? What did Kate write? Um, she likes to cook. Kate, what did you write? I said I like cooking. <laughs> it's a match. match. Yes, it okay. is. Okay, like to cook, like cooking, same thing. Next. So match. Number one is match. You can see it right there. Okay, let's do number two. Unit 10. Listening. It's a match. Number one. Wait a minute. No, it's supposed to be number two. Hang on. Sorry. Number two. Number two. Next question. Kate. What is something that Andrew dislikes doing at home? He dislikes cleaning the house. Andrew, what did you write? I dislike washing dishes. Oh. We probably agree with both answers, but it's no match. Oh, no match. Uh, 
Okay. Number three. Hmm. <laughs> Number three. Our next topic is free time activities. Andrew, what is something Kate doesn't enjoy doing? Doesn't enjoy uh, doing. She doesn't enjoy working out. Kate, what did you write down? I don't enjoy working out. I know I should exercise, but I just don't enjoy it. It's hey, a match. They got it. They got it. it okay, is a so match. another five hundred dollars. Wow, they got one and three right. Okay, let's see the last one, which is uh, reading or I can't see it. I can't read it. But just listen, okay? It's 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 just too small. All right, anyway, that's fine. Just listen to what they say. Number four. Okay, Kate, what is Andrew's favorite oh, free traveling. time activity? Traveling, yeah. What does he like to do best? Is it, is it traveling he or reading? Read. He's always reading. Andrew? I love reading. Hey. It's a match. Another $500. Wow, they did really well. Okay, so they got, how many did they get right? How many did they get right? It, so there's the first one, the second one, the third one, and the fourth one. So they got this one right, number one right, number three right, and number four right. Okay, let me just check this. See that I just marked it for you and check this. I just marked it for you. Now, before I check number three, we're just going to move straight into number three, you guys. Uh, you have to complete the um let's see you got to complete the question and then answer it come on there we go i uh, see do you like do you like you have to make the sentence make the question <laughs> all right so you're going to do that on your own I'll give you a moment to do that and let's just check, push the check button and the answer will be there for you. Okay, there they are. Those are the questions. And I'm going to play them for you. About you. One, do you like to cook? Two, do you like to clean? Three, what is something you... Okay, so basically she's asking the question and you need to answer that question. It's, it's really about you too. What's true for you? Let me just keep playing this. What is something you dislike doing? Okay, so do you like to cook? Do you like to, to clean? What is something you enjoy doing? What is something you dislike doing? Let's do the first half of this dialogue together. So I'll be the boy here and you can be the girl. Okay, so I'll start. Hey, what do you like to do in your free time? Really? Me too. Okay, let me pause it. So this is the rest of the dialogue. Uh, so then he says or asks, are you busy this weekend? And she answers, well, no. Mm. Then he asks, oh, he has a lot of courage. Do you want to go to a movie? And she answer, uh, qu answers with the question, with you? And then he goes, uh, yeah, with me. All right, so so you know how this is this works. You simply go through the dialogues, try to do it with a friend, do it with a family member. Each time you do it, you substitute, you replace the um, word or phrase with in the right color. So, are you busy this weekend? Are you busy on weekends? Are you busy on Saturdays? Well, no. Okay, and so on. Actually, hang on. It, it, it should be, are you busy this week? Are you busy?